All of these bottles are garbage. But I think we can tune these bottles and make music with them. I'm composing two different songs to play on the garbage wine bottles. Each different note means we need an additional bottle. In the end I condense the song down to using just 8 notes, which we can play on 8 bottles. So let's find out if we can actually play this song on the bottles that I have, because each bottle has its own range of notes that it can play. So basically I just hit a bottle and then play the piano and try to match the two notes. If there's a match, I know the highest note that this bottle can play and I write it down. Then I'll fill the bottle with water and as I'm filling it up, you can hear the tone of the bottle get lower. Aha! So this is the lowest note that this bottle can play. So now that we know what our bottles are capable of, we can assign the notes from our song to the bottles. So first thing on our recipe is a D sharp 5. Well, lucky for us, this bottle is D sharp 5. There it is. So in this stage, we're just checking off all the notes that we need. Tuning each bottle exactly to the note that we want for our song. Hey, we got all our notes, and now we can play a little song with it. It was at this point that I started considering my options for hitting the bottles. I love servo motors, but I'm not sure they're fit for the job. Oh. Oh, it's dead. Well, they're a bit slow and they take up a lot of space if you want to have a long rod. So I think this might be nicer. This is called a solenoid. When you send current through this thing, it becomes a magnet on the inside and it pulls in the metal rod. If you stop the current, the spring will push the metal rod back. Perfect. And we can use this eight channel relay board to control it. And when we're shopping anyway, we can add some nice buttons to start the next song or to turn the machine on and off. And we can add a volume slider to adjust the volume that the bottles are being played. And we can add some nice lights to light up each bottle as we play it. For control, I still have an Arduino laying around. And to power the whole thing, I use a 5V to 12 volt step-up converter for my power bank. I went for a design where all the bottles are in a circle and the solenoids are on the inside. Below the solenoids are all the control stuff and there's a faceplate where I can mount the buttons and the volume slider. And this uh, pillar in the middle was made using boxes.py. It's this website where they have a whole bunch of designs and you can parametrize these designs to your wishes. So this is the dream if you have a laser cutter, really cool. So let me show you real quick how I made a design using this website and put it into 3D. So I chose the angled box and it will take me into a form where I can set the sizes of the box. For this design I need 155 by 155 by 155 and we're gonna need 8 walls so I need to fill in 3 here. Yes. For the top we choose an angled hole and after this we can adjust the laser cutting tolerances. I hit generate and there we are! Now these parts can be exported to a file and I will open this in FreeCAD and extrude the parts. Pow! Now we only need to rotate some parts and then we have the 3D assembly. Awesome! I laser cut the panels and I added the electronics and I made some software. Yo, check this out. We have an intermediate prototype. It works in a power bank. Woohoo! So now it's time to assemble. Okay, here we go. I had some tiny pieces of wood left from the laser cutting and I figured I would make the legs of the bottle player from this garbage. Wow, I love this. 
I bought these little clips to avoid doing a lot of soldering. You just pop in a wire and go, and the wires are connected. I love it. Ah, I accidentally reversed the slots up and down, so now I need to make some additions by hand. Okay, that's one side. Okay, I'll use a chisel. Yes, we have a good fit. We're about halfway through the assembly now. Let's take a break and look at how we get the MIDI notes actually playing on this thing. We start out with the song. And this is just a bunch of notes and timings. And the computer plays these notes for us. Let's export the song data. Now we get an unreadable binary file. This doesn't really help us without any way for the Arduino to read this. And that's where the MIDI tones application comes in. This application converts MIDI files to a simplified time ordered sequence of note commands. And we can copy these into the Arduino. Then I built a parser for the Arduino. And if you want to see the full code for this, you can go to the description. There's a link right there. Okay, back to assembly. It's time to put the LEDs right here. So these LEDs are controlled in groups of three. So I want three LEDs for each of the eight sides. On four sides, I could use a double LED piece. And on the other four sides, I had to solder some wires. Time to put the elastic. Put a little knot. Oh, that's really tight. It's not gonna move at all. And here I see the first error. If we have this little solenoid, it can never reach this bottle. So I'm professionally removing a little bit of wood right here. Jens, this is really not pretty. Couldn't you have used a drill or a saw? Yeah. Don't give a Okay, now it can never miss. Ow. Yeah, let's put the rope right through. Whole table is covered with rope dust. <laughs> rope dust. I was missing a few holes, so I just drilled them manually. <laughs> when you start a project like this, it's usually full of love and ambition, and you're like, every detail needs to be right. And when you're getting close to the end, it's like, I don't give a damn anymore. I just want to be done with this. Which is the phase I am in right now. Ah. I didn't like the look of the old feet, so I added different ones. Because I've been working on this thing for one and a half month on and off, a lot of mold has grown in the bottles. There's just disgusting floating bits everywhere. It is what it is. Intermezzo time! These bottles are speaking to each other. One is saying que mas, which means what more? And then another one is saying mucho mas, which means much more. Secret language of bottles. Okay, back to the video. I put a microphone next to the bottles. One bottle is playing the same note over and over. This note has an associated fundamental frequency. And we can see it in this plot. 2.09 kilohertz. That should be a C6. Now there's a table containing all the notes and associate frequencies. And if we're off by any little bit, we can add or remove water in the bottle. And this way we can get the exact right pitch for every bottle. Then I recorded the whole thing, added some production. And this is actually the song that you've been hearing throughout this whole video. Okay, time to start a band with this machine. Wow, you made it all the way through the video. Well done and thanks. If you enjoyed the content, you can really help the channel out by subscribing and clicking the like button. If you are into laser cutting projects, you should watch this video next.